Blame our, a massive welcome to Leighton Orient. How does it feel to put pen to paper on a deal? Yeah, it feels good. I'm delighted to, to be here, to be back home. Um, yeah, and just really excited, looking forward to get going. Mm, talk about that, being back home. No doubt that's a big part of, of you joining and, and coming back to London. Yeah, massive part, massive part. At the stage I'm, I'm at, um, family-wise, um, it definitely was timely. Um, and, and in all honesty, though, I didn't, I didn't really want to um, take the step down. Um, but um, just looking at the intent of the club, Kenny coming in, um, I think it's, it's, the time's right. So, yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of part of my next question, but obviously you have played the last few seasons in League One. So what in particular was it about Leighton Orient that, that kind of persuaded you to, to make that step? Yeah, no, the Gaffer Gaffer's a big part of that. I don't, I don't see him as a League Two manager at all. Um, so for me, that's a sign of intent, um, of the direction where the club wants to go and a sign of ambition. So, so yeah, I think um, that played a massive part for me, yeah. For the Orient fans that may not have seen you play before, um, I think we were talking, you said you played it once before against uh, Fracton and Stanley. Yeah. Um, but for those O's o fans that might not remember that day or, or might not know you as a player, how would you describe yourself? I'm loud, dominant, um, I'll be competitive um, and I'll give, I'll give my best every time we're out there and I'll be, I'll be aggressive, so, so yeah. Mm. You spoke about Kenny Jacket a minute ago, about being a big part of, of you coming here. Have you had many conversations with him about rejoining the club? Um, so yeah, we've spoken briefly um, prior to, to joining, um, and yeah, just it sounds like a project that I definitely want to be a part of. Um, I've worked with him in the past, and I was at Mill with him um, as a scholar. Um, also, since going into the league and crossing paths, um, they've always been saying, "Well done," you know, for you know having gone the non-league route to find myself back in the league and doing well. So, so yeah. It's, it's been, I spoke with him on, on occasions, yeah. Uh, so you talk about the ambition joining the club. Um, for yourself, you haven't achieved a promotion yet. How exciting would that be for you? Yeah, no, it'd be massive, massive. Uh, I think we're, we're in it to win it. At the end of the day, you play football, not just to like take part, but you want to, you know, you want to have something to show for it. So uh, yeah, this is an, a, another key reason why I'm taking this step, you know, going somewhere I believe, you know, there's a massive opportunity to, to win something. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that's it's high on the agenda. I've been close. I've been on the cusp of winning stuff, playoff finals, um, cup finals, and just missed out. Um, but yeah, now this is a season where I hope to to step away with some silverware. And finally, what would your message be to the supporters ahead of the new season? Yeah, well, if there's anything we could take away from last season, it's that football without fans is is not the one. Um, you know, so as players, we need the fans. We want the fans. And, and I think them coming back in full force, seeing where the club's ambition is going, hopefully they can project that same passion and enthusiasm as we step out there and help get us over the line, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm just saying get back and, and let's, let's go and let's do this.